up next, a light heavyweight showdown between the Boogeyman and Matt the Hammer Hamill. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Utica, New York, Matt the Hammer! Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer and a street fighter. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, Akira the Boogeyman Edwards. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. There she is, the beautiful Ariani. Ready, sir. Ready? Matt Hamill, the boogeyman. Fight. Round one is underway. Joe, what do you think's going through the mind of Edwards coming into this fight? He unfortunately is coming off his first defeat by way of knockout. Yeah, Mike, and we're about to see how well he can bounce back from a defeat like that. A fighter's reaction to his first knockout loss often says a lot about the potential for the rest of his career. Nice knee to the body. And he's got it. And he's down. He's in full guard. He's looking for a Kimura. Wow, great oh, job done escapes. defensively. Ah, oh, passes to the half guard. And back to full guard. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Big elbow. Under two minutes remains. Under 90 seconds remain. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Just over a minute remains. Under a minute remains. Forty five seconds remains in the first round. Thirty seconds remains in the round. Back to his feet. He shoots. The cage right there worked against the takedown attempt. <laughs> Round one is in the books. Joe, it's fun to see a little bit of every element of the game being displayed in that round of fighting. Yeah, Mike, that was truly a mixed martial arts round. All right? He's not as good as you. Right? You feel him open that guard. Bring out that combat knee, get yourself, okay? Late. You start working, you start working that knee, get past. Hey, five minutes of hell, tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you gotta bring something behind it. Uppercut all day. You gotta bring something behind it. Keep your elbows in, feet. Let's take a look at some of that action here. Try to spin him around. Don't don't let your back sit sit on the, on the cage, okay? The beautiful Shandella Powell. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? 
set for round two. This fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Huge uppercut, Joe! Nice work. Huge slam! He's looking for Kimura. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Looks like he wants to go north-south. Oh, uh, north-south. North south. You can finish it. He's looking for the... He got out! And he escapes. Trying to get to a dominant position, Joe. Joe, now he goes to side control. Now he goes north-south. Joe, he's got the mount. He can finish the fight from here. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. He's looking for an arm triangle. Wow, great oh, job done escapes. defensively. Back to north-south. He's looking for a guillotine. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Two minutes remains in the second. Ninety seconds remains in the second. Just over a minute remains. Quick hands. One minute remains in the second round. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. hand. Left. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Again with the body kick. Both men scoring points here. 30 seconds remains in the Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Beautiful hook. Oh, and punishing the midsection in the clinch. Oh, wow. he gets slammed. We have Rip. complete... He's looking to isolate an arm here, looking for the Kimura. Joe, when you look at a round of fighting like that, that's why Don't you must be a complete mixed martial artist modern day if you're going to win in the UFC. Right, Absolutely, that was a perfect that. example right. of that. Hey, you're never against the cage. You turn him, I want you kneeing or digging to the body, okay? Keep him busy. You gotta punish him, breathe. All right, go to the body and press him back. Breathe. Come on, breathe, Drew. He had a work to it. Let's take a look at some of that action here. This is the round he's gonna break. You hear me? Gotta take it to him. You can There's Ariani as we get ready for round three. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? It's Here we fight. go. Round three. Taking a beating. Nice double leg. Into the guard. Elbow. He gets back to his feet. Nice right hook. Take to the body. Oh, they're going to close it up again. Right to the big takedown. He's looking for Kimura. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. And he lets him back up. He got the, the clinch. clinch. Nice right hand. Boom. Oh, good knees. Outstanding takedowns. Back to his feet. They clinch. 
and the slam. He's looking for a Kimura. He got out. And he escapes. He decides to let him up. They clinch again. 90 seconds. Good body oh, control. Beautiful slam. He's looking for a Kimura. Wow, great oh, job done escapes. defensively. He lets him up. Nice punches. Nice job, double leg. Forty-five seconds remains. Final thirty seconds of the third and final round. And again, three rounds to play. He's isolating an arm. He's got a Kimura. Joe, you know what? Decent fight. Not going to go into the UFC Hall of Fame of fights, but not bad. It definitely wasn't embarrassing. Let's take a look at some of that action here. The judges have rendered their decision, and here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Matt the Hammer Hamill! Matt Hamill reigns supreme.